how can a serving senator earn 23 million naira monthly and a RTD general earns 250,000 naira as a monthly pension? Body George. A former national vice president of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Ola Bode George, has called on the federal government to end economic inequalities and injustice in the distribution of resources and wealth. Adding that FG should address the systemic failure of a system where retired officials receive higher pensions than their elected officials, highlighting the need for change. He made this statement while speaking at Freedom Online's fifth annual lecture, which was held in Lagos on Tuesday. In his own words, Bode George said, Enough with the lies. Enough with this rottenness in our country's financial administration. Let's stop distribution, distributing our God-given resources and financial prosperity in a way that is unequal, unjust, and unfair to everyone. It is chaotic, irrational, and blatantly systematic when a serving senator receives 23 million naira per month, a former federal permanent secretary re- receives 1 million naira, and a retired general receives 250,000 naira as pension. Furthermore, the governor said the distribution of palliatives to mitigate the effects of loss of gasoline subsidized is currently being discussed. But how will they be done? Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe as I check out what other people have to say about this. You people failed to do the right thing when you were on SVC so as you can lay on your bed so you sleep on it, General. You have the opportunity to right the wrong during the time your party were in power, but then you never see anything wrong in the system. Why now? What if, what of the pensioners that are earning less than 30,000 naira, the politicians should pity those that voted for them? Nigeria is the biggest joke to earth, and a retired assistant director in the federal civil service receives less than 50,000 as pension. No one to blame, everyone has failed even Obasanjo. We don't have Nigerian army. What we have is a religious, regional and tribalized political army. This money earned by senators must stop. 23 million naira a month by a senator. This is absolutely incredible. We still have a long way to go in this country. If, the is- if these issues of senators' huge salary and after services is not addressed quickly, it many can cripple Nigeria's economy. What goes around comes around. If it is the will of God Almighty that the masses will continue to suffer, who am I to say otherwise? We have many smart and intelligent soldiers in Nigeria. It is time they behave. Those insulting Bode George are foolish people. You will never remain a slave in your life. Oga President's government is not connected to the masses. Dummy in power. I thought Abacha was a wicked man. Abacha was a saint compared to Dinubu. This is what to protest against and not the protest against the executive in the past. That's too much for senators. It is not justified at all. But as for Bode, what did you do about the issue since the inception of democracy? You quietly enjoyed that evil. You are now complaining simply because you have found yourself on the fence watching. The man who gave his life for the nation 
get pine nuts after 10 to 35 years service, while a man who usurps power by crook gets millions after stealing for four years. What a nation. You are talking from the two sides of your mouth. It is too late to cry when the head is off. We should discontinue a system apparatus that desubsidizes the overwhelming majority populace to subsidize the infinitesimal. How can a senator receive 23 million naira per month when many individuals have no job and some work like Jackie and end up receiving 30,000 even lesser is totally unfair. He did that to them so that he would not be impeached when needs arise. The money senators and politicians earn is a is way too high for comfort for this country's growth and development. It is high time we the masses see the truth that the parties are only names, but it is the same people that keep rotating round them. It is time to forget our various party. It's time to rise up together in unity to challenge the decision of these evil leaders. An ordinary citizen with up to five members in a family will be paid 800 naira per month. Is this not madness? When you are there, you pack your own, so don't complain, you are among them. Astonishing, isn't it? How can a GL-16 civil servant receive 40,000 monthly as pension? I have said it before that the government should stop paying our senators' salaries. The government can be giving them sitting allowance alone. Serving civil servants receive 30,000 as minimum wage. God will judge them. Somebody who has been there but failed to correct nonsense can't condemn the nonsense, went out of the system and expects me to heal them. Well, these people have all given their opinions on this. Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own opinion on this.